Okay, here's a brief little uh, feature review or tutorial thing on Scada. I had originally intended to do recount because that's what I used then, but Scada I found has a separate window I can make for threat that has all the features that I need as a DPS or that Omen has. So this way I'm eliminating an add on and hopefully saving some memory. But the features otherwise are more or less the same. Scada has a little bit more detail. Here we can see in my DPS window, we have uh, the list of everybody DPSing, um, including the uh, pets and various things like that. And if you highlight any of these, just hover your cursor over it, you'll see a little window pops up saying how long it was collecting the data for the segment time, um, how long I was active, meaning how much you know, I was actually casting spells, and then my uh, total damage done. And this is for the current fight, because that's what it's set to. But I can go like this, you see, and select any data to show for that fight. Um, like mana gain. Let's see, these people gained mana. Um, you know, it shows what it's for, you know. We have right here, Daltherius gathered 11.6k from replenishment at 56.9% of it was from that. Um, one of the things this is useful for is if you're trying to figure out basically who screwed up. You can click on damage taken here, and the tank should be at the top. And arranged should hopefully be at the bottom, unless there's some kind of uh, you know, weird, other weird stuff like that. And we can see what he took the damage from. Has a little list there, shows how much percent of the damage was from that and whatnot. This is good to determine what's killing you, so that you can prepare for it next time. And then we go over here, and we can look at healing. And it already shows me the total here, 360.6k for that fight. And obviously, most of it's in by your healer. And it shows what his biggest healing spells are, or lesser healing wave, being the number one. Um, and it also showed who he healed, and how much percentage of the healing was done to them, of course, the tank should usually be at the top. This way you can tell if your healers are healing the wrong people, if the maybe the raid heals for some reason is just doing tank heals or something like that. Go to CC breakers. A lot of fights you have to do crowd control. And this right here you're seeing who breaks it, nobody broke any because there wasn't really much crowd control. And interrupts. Often you have to interrupt things. No interrupts for the fight. Another thing we can do is we click on this little gear, and I'm going to go to SCADA because it's the window that says SCADA, and go total, show for all fights, and then I'm going to select, it's easy because there's so much stuff there, just do that right here, and then we go damage, just how much actual damage was done here. Up the top, most of it's arcane blast. You can see, and there's the crowd control breakers. None. Interrupts. We have our DK and our healer. Both did one interrupt. No real info on that one. We have fails. This is from Insidia fails. I really don't know how all that works. I just got it, but uh, it can show you things like that. And threat. No threat. There's a DPS for that data. And here you have your threat window, which is just like it says. It's threat. Looks just like Omen. And the way you get to that, you click your gear in your main window, and you go to configure and windows, and you can come for the name and then create it. Just type the name in and hit enter or OK. And I made one called Threat because that's all I'm having it show is Threat for the current fight. So it looks like Omen. And down here, click on Threat. And you know, not one while tanking and various things like flash screen and shake screen and play a sound when you have too much Threat. I'm going to use a Murloc sound. <laughs> 